What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Tuesday evening. About to grab myself a Perdomo Nicaraguan cigar. And just as I've said before previously today, I'm going to cover the WWE. And just as I mentioned, I'm going to expand what I talk about as far as videos are concerned. I'm not just going to stick specifically with bodybuilding. I'm going to stick with anything that I have general experience in. Professional wrestling is just one of them. I've not talked about professional wrestling for quite some time. But, you know, being formally in the business and everything like that, you know, it, it, it's a good time to uh, discuss the failings of the world wrestling entertainment or formerly the w w WWF, World Wrestling Federation, or the WWWF, the Worldwide Wrestling Federation, or Capital Wrestling <laughs> Corporation. Whichever one you want to call it, it's all the same damn company, okay? Now, recently, there's been a lot of reports that the WWE is failing. They've been... They recently released 18 athletes and that the WWE is failing. They're messing up and everything like that. And I want to discuss to you today what's wrong with the company and what they can do about it. And there's a couple of things here that's in place, which really doesn't have to deal with just losing money there. Okay. The problem, first problem as far as WWE is concerned is... Just the fact that a lot of the athletes here, they have wonderful physiques. They have good ring uh, technician skills and everything like that. But here's the thing. The name of the company is World Wrestling Entertainment. Entertainment is at the very last. These people, as much as they have good physical physiques, as much as they have good ring skills, they don't have any mic skills, okay? Okay. They can't talk on a the microphone. They, they don't have the swagger, okay? Every top build professional wrestler has mic skills. Nature Boy Ric Flair, all right? Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, you know what I mean? All these guys, you know, they have impressive physiques there. With the exception of Stone Cold, it was an average physique, but Stone Cold had mic skills. If you ain't got mic skills... It doesn't do diddly do squat there. I'm just keeping it real and telling it like it is. Uh, mic skills are very important in professional wrestling there because you you, you got to entertain the crowd. You got to whether you're playing whether you are a face or a heel. You got to either draw some heat or get the fans up and cheering about you there. Okay, and you have you actually have to do it on the fly whenever you do a switch from a face to a heel. You still have to have a mic skills as a face. You got to have mic skills as a heel. Whether you're uplifting people or you just straight up pissing people off. And the great one myself, I, I'm good at pissing people off there. You know, just keeping it real and telling it like it is here. So that's one thing. All these people that are released and everything like that, for the most part, they didn't have no mic skills. Great physiques, good you know, and I hear some of these news reporters and stuff like that, WrestleZone and everything, you know, saying that, you know, the, these guys shouldn't have been let go. You simply just got to look at their promo, promos. Are they good, cutting good promos? No, they're not cutting good promos. They're cutting bad promotions. Now, number two, and, and this is very important. This is a serious element that's missing that leads on to people that don't have mic skills. Where are the wrestling managers at? Huh? The WWE, from what I can see, only has one wrestling manager, and that's MVP. There are hardly any wrestling managers. And the purpose of a wrestling manager, they don't go and just take up money. They got mic skills, okay? They know how to talk up their clients here. And they can just sit there and look stupid there while the other person takes care of those mic skills. Think Jim Cornette, for example. The greatest... A microphone terrorist out there, you know. You know, like I said before, if anyone grew up in the 80s and 90s, you know who the fuck Jim Cornette is, all right? You know who Paul Ellering is. He could not, and, and here's the thing not only could he, uh, he had good mic skills, he was also a great wrestler. Bobby the Brain Heenan, okay? Jimmy Hart, Mouth of the South, you know? 
wrestling managers. They went and promoted the other wrestlers. So for then the wrestlers that they promoted were people who had no mic skills. Okay. Where are the freaking wrestling managers at? Meantime, AEW, they got, they got, do they got dozens of wrestling managers. They get the philosophy. You go to any other, if you go to any regional or local promotion or so forth, uh, you're going to always, you're going to have wrestling managers. Okay. Maybe they're not getting much, but they got good mic skills. WWE, they don't have any freaking wrestling managers. I guess they're trying to cut back and save money, but that's, that's not good thinking there. Without wrestling managers, without people with mic skills, you are taking the E out of WWE, which stands for entertainment. That's two. Now, here's the most important thing. Okay. Where are the original gangsters? You got to have OGs. Okay. Original gangsters. What does that mean there? Okay. Take a look at all the wrestlers up there. What's missing? Huh? The legends. Okay. There's no Sergeant Slaughter up. They can, they have Sergeant Slaughter. They can have him up there. They can have the road dog. They can have people back from the eighties and nineties. They got all these people doing this producer stuff there, but they ain't got them. They ain't got them on TV or anything like that. Just because they're old and they can't wrestle anymore. Don't mean it. You know, they ain't going to draw no tickets here. Now look at AEW instead there. They got freaking Tully Blanchard. All right. Tully Blanchard there, he's old, he's in his late 60s and stuff like that. But I guarantee, if you went out there and put a poster saying that Tully Blanchard is going to be in town at this place, I guarantee that's going to draw some people. Not because he can wrestle, because he can't wrestle anymore. It's because he's freaking Tully Blanchard. If the nature boy, Ric Flair, put his name on a poster and said he was going to be somewhere, guess what? People are going to follow him. Why? Because he's the nature boy, Ric Flair. You got to have your legends here. That's the thing about WWE. They don't promote their legends. All it is is new wrestlers, all right? New blood. That doesn't work, okay? Doesn't work at all. You got to have your old school people. You got to have your legends. I mean, I don't care if you got Pork Chop Cash up there. Pork Chop Cash, he's in his 80s. People still going to show up to see Pork Chop Cash, or anything. They're going to still show up to see Sergeant Slaughter. Got all these legends up there, not even putting used to it. Okay. I mean, heck, you, it, locally down here, heck, I can go down there and watch Ricky Morton, Robert Gibson, Rock and Roll Express. They're in their 60s and everything. And basically, they're still packing the buildings there. You know why? Because they're legends. People knew them. People grew up with them. People grew up with people like the Boogie Woogie Man. People grew up with Rock and Roll Express, with the Midnight Express, with Jim Cornette, with Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter, I mean, you saw if you watch the old show G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, you would see Sergeant Slaughter up there. People grew up with these people. People grew up with all these legends here. So if you have them on the billing there, you ain't got to have them on top billing or anything like that. You just got to have their name up there, say they're going to be somewhere at this certain time you're you going you gonna to get some people showing up. You know why? Because they they don't want to see Sergeant Slaughter wrestle. They just want to see Sergeant Slaughter. That's it. They want to see the legends, okay? If all you got is new people, I mean, if you're up there putting up a poster saying that WWE is going to be there and all you see up there is this and that, you're still going to draw a crowd with your current wrestlers, but you're not going to draw that old school crowd there. You're missing an entire line uh, potential customers, potential audience here. WWE doesn't get it. AEW does get it. Okay. So those are the three things that WWE needs to improve on. All right. And hopefully they, someone actually, some, her, certainly I hope someone get, gives them the message there and, and start acting right and start using their heads there, you know, instead of using their pocketbooks, you got to get back to the basics. Okay. It ain't a matter of how many flips you can do in the air to land on someone, you know. It, it's all about the entertainment there. I mean, there's nothing like, oh, think about Ronnie Garvin there. He didn't go and fly off the top rope or anything. He would just punch people, kick people, and do a Garvin stomp there. Hey, that's good enough. People want to see a whooping whenever they watch wrestling there. That's entertainment. There was nothing more entertainment than... Ronnie Garvin doing the Garvin stomp, which involves stomping on the head, stomping on the arms, stomping on the le all the legs and everything like that, and finally finishing up with another stomp on the freaking face. And then he picks him up and just punches him in the face and covers him. That's beautiful. 
No flipping off the top ropes or anything like that. Just get back to the basic things there. You don't need no, you know, that's another thing. Actually, let's make it number four. What's with all, you, you need to get some good old classic finishing moves, okay? You don't need to flip off the stage or anything like that. Now, you still got your sharpshooters and your stuff like that, but you got to get back to just some good old basic just pounding there. You know, Dusty Rose, he would come up there like this and then come down with a freaking elbow, and that was it. Everyone loved the bionic elbow. So, okay, that's number four. Let's get back to some basic, classic wrestling finishing moves here. Because you don't really need to flip off top rope. All you need is a good, nice, hard uh, hit there, basically, you know? Get good, get a good, big, giant bump. You can get a great bump with just a simple uh, diving elbow there, you know, just like Macho Man Randy Savage. That's all I got to say today, people. Hope this was entertaining for you. Like I said, I'm expanding uh, what I do and what I say on the channel and the topics I cover. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe down below to the Vince Goodrum channel. I'll see you later on.